Hi, this is Brian Kim. I'm going to share with you today this video is showing specifications and design of the Kim double chopper. I've had several people ask me about who makes a chopper and what the dimensions and specifications are. And so I'm going to take the time to make this video to answer any of those questions and be able to refer to this in the future. So as you can see, the overall length of the chopper is about two and a half millimeters. But this is the overall length. According to Katina's website, it's listed as two millimeters, and this is because they're measuring through the internal length of the chopper, which is set at two millimeters. You can see it has a rounded tip. It is a little bit larger than the girth of the shaft, one and a half times thicker than the shaft. You can see it has a rounded design, so this is very safe. You can protect the posterior capsule. You can place this out to the equator. As a result, you can do a lot of maneuvers within the bag very safely. You can see that there is actually a cutting edge on the internal portion of the chopper, triangulated cutting edge on the internal portion. Again, it's right angled and it's longer than most average choppers. Some people are intimidated by the length of the chopper. However, remember the anterior posterior length of the lens is four to five millimeters. And so there is no way you can rip the posterior capsule with a chopper. Once you're within the bag, this is very safe. I've never ripped the posterior capsule. The only time you could ever cause a capsule or a problem when you're placing the chopper out to the equator and you think you're in the bag, but you're actually on top of the anterior capsule. This is the only way you can have that happen, and that's due to poor technique, not due to any danger or inherent risk in the design of the chopper. So this is the reason I developed this chopper with Katina. It's longer, it has a rounded tip, it's right angled, and it's very versatile. It helps me pull pieces out of the bag. It helps me confidently perform the double chop and cross chop maneuver. And so I think this is the ideal tool for this technique. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe, and I thank you for your attention.